This one has so much. Oh my god, I'm in love with this one. Like this is oh my god. Just, 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 just take a little bit. Just, 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 just. This is for shrinkage, bruh. Look. Now I am bought, sold, delivered, everything. It's one pound. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tumi Popola. If you're new to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Now, can you tell I'm excited? I've been away for what? Two months? That's a long time. That's actually a long time. But I just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed while I was not even posting. Like loads of you did and it just means so, so much to me. So, welcome to the family. I'm actually glad to be back. And I'm sure from the title of the video, you can tell what we're doing today. Bye. Oh, hair haul. In this video, I'm not glammed up or nothing, and that's obviously from the title. You don't expect me to be gay. Yeah. So I went to Primark. I went in there looking for hair products. I was like, hmm, I haven't seen any video with anyone doing reviews of hair products on natural hair from Primark. So when I went in there, the best part was that they just released a new hairline. So everything I bought is literally brand new. And some of the ladies at the counter were like, oh, they didn't even know that Primark had this. First things first, I did not get any shampoos because I always read the ingredients and obviously you should to know what's in any products you're buying and with these shampoos they had sulfates, they had parabens and I was just like, I'm not about to put that in my hair but anyway, to be fair, I washed my hair a few days ago with shampoo so we're just going to co-wash today. So I have two conditioners and it's the first one is the um, PS Super Blends Manuka Honey and American Argan Oil Conditioner. It says it's a nourishing conditioner. Like, what? Primark has argan oil in their conditioner and honey. And for a pound. How is that even possible? Like, I'm really skeptical about this, but I'm going to try it out and let's see if it's a hit or miss. Then the second conditioner I got is a strengthening conditioner and, you know, hence it's coconut in it anyway. So it's coconut and cactus flour and it's supposed to strengthen in your hair so both of them say apre shampoo so after shampoo obviously but then we're not shampooing today to co-wash with both of them i think what i want to do is i want to see if they actually work for what they say so i'm going to co-wash half of my hair with the nourishing side and the other half with the strengthening side and i'll tell you if my hair feels um any like i don't know i'll tell you if i'm getting any form of strength like how i would feel from using like a mild protein conditioner or um, if my hair feels really soft from using this one. The next thing I got was this um, Sun Shield and Shine. I still bought it anyway because they had no leave-in conditioner and I wanted a form of relieving and this has coconut and bamboo in it. To protect your hair from color damage, um, shields color, sorry, from UV damage and it's supposed to help nourish, strengthen, moisturize. It claims to do a lot of things and it's two pounds now this is the only products i got that was actually above a pound everything else was a pound or less and i was just like let me just try this out and see i already am like okay let me not be you know a debbie downer but i'm literally 90 percent sure that this one will work i kind of have you know high hopes for conditioners because they're cheap conditioners out there that work like the um herbal essence and other ones well this we'll see we'll see yeah this is going in the bin there's no way i'm using this because i thought i might just put it in my hair right before i put oil in my hair maybe it might make my hair protected or whatever but when it smells like alcohol it looks nasty it feels nasty this is not going in my hair this is going in the bin you don't buy this like mm -mm. there was no leave-in conditioner and they didn't have deep conditioner so i got this um argan oil rescue mask it has the like Primark logo at the bottom so I don't know if Primark sells it for them or if you know there's like a collaboration or something but this was the only deep conditioner I saw. Okay so I have wet a quarter of my hair. There's no product, nothing. It smells, it smells really nice. Like it really smells nice. I don't know maybe my senses are off but I'm not sure if I can smell honey or other not. So I'm going to do it that much. And then I'm just going to... And it's supposed to be very nourishing and it's supposed to hydrate your hair a lot. And I honestly think I'm getting that. Like, look at my curls. Like, they seem hydrated. What do you guys think? 
like my camera isn't focusing properly. I'm able to detangle my hair as I'm walking the product through it. Okay, so I have wet the second part of my hair. Use this um, the um, coconut one that's supposed to strengthen hair. Oh my god, instantly the first thing I can smell is coconut. Like, you know how I told you that the other one, it wasn't very distinct. The smell. This one smells 100% like coconut. Like, literally. Okay, wow. This one even has more slip than the first one. I don't know if it's the fact that it's coconut because I always use coconut to detangle my hair, coconut oil. But this one has so much. Oh my god, I'm in love with this one. Like, this is oh my god. This reminds me exactly of the, um, you know, the Tresemme's Naturals before they changed their formula because now nobody really uses it anymore. But when it was just coconut and aloe vera, I think this reminds me of oh my god. Oh my lord. This is the definition of slip. Like bruh. Just 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 take a little bit. Just 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 What? Like I'm actually shook because and look it's kind of like I have super shrinkage, which is weird, like my hair shrinks so much. And this is not bad for shrinkage. Like this length is really not bad because my hair is like brush wrap length but this for shrinkage bruh look now i am bought sold delivered everything what this is ha! look bruh, like can you see how easy my my fingers are going through my hair like this like this like can you can you can you see that I'm actually in shock. So I'm going to wash like the rest of my hair, so the front part with the conditioner because I don't want it to like drip onto me here and then that'll just look really messy. I'm going to rinse out the back, so I'm going to basically do this front half with the um, honey and then this one with the coconut on and then I'm just going to come back and give you guys my final thought. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts. And before anyone comes for me and like, oh, why did you go and put on a wig? I didn't put on a wig for this part. What happened was that I went to get dinner, came back and then tried to actually edit and then found out that I did not do the outro. Yeah, I know. Now, my final thoughts on these two products since every other thing, every other thing else I got is, you know, going to be tossed in the bin. These two on the other hand, so now, both of these conditioners are 250ml and they're both 8.4 fluid ounces. So now I feel that's a lot for a pound because it says that 40p per 100ml um, on each one of them. Let's start off with the Manuka Honey and American Argan Oil. Now this conditioner is supposed to be nourishing and it's supposed to leave your hair leaving soft, silky, smooth and look more nourished. Now my hair was soft, yes. Was my hair silky smooth? I don't think so. Was um, my hair looking more nourished? I would say nothing more than the usual. There was nothing extra. I um, don't know how much Manuka um, honey and American Argan oil is in it because the ingredients are way down at the bottom. Like honey is literally like right down at the bottom from like the top and it's in order of how much the product is in it. So I don't know. So I like this conditioner. I will use it till it runs out but I don't think I would repurchase it but you know what? it's a pound so if you're looking for something really cheap and something that would you know work like any regular you know drugstore conditioner then you can actually get this not bad not bad I like it but I don't love it now this one this coconut cactus fly I can't look to remember the name this product is just beautiful so this is supposed to um what does it say Contains a special blend of conditioner and moisturizer to help leave your hair revitalized, strengthening, and silky smooth. Now, in terms of strength, I can't really say because um, a few days ago I did a protein treatment. So I don't know if this strengthens 
the hair because I didn't see any difference to my well this is not my hair <laughs> but to my hair before I don't know I had to touch this hair like it was mine but yeah um, I didn't see any difference but my god the slip with this thing like, I don't know what it is I think anytime brands just put coconut in any of their conditioners the slip is just bra because this had so much slip it was so hydrating my hair was feeling so soft my curls were literally bouncing back like Nah, I'm just like for one pound. Eh? One pound. Am I missing something here? How is this one pound? Like I'm still trying to hack it. This is literally just like the Tresemme Naturals when they first started, not when they changed the formula because right now it's crap. But like this, I will actually repurchase this. Like best believe that when this finishes, I'm actually going to buy it again. This new Primark hairline is a thumbs up for me for the conditioners. Everything else is a no. The shampoos, sorry, too much sulfates, parabens, minerals, not gonna do it. They have no leaving, they have no deep conditioners. Maybe they might come out with one, who knows? If I see anyone, yeah, I will definitely review them for you guys. They don't have any oils. I don't know what I was thinking buying this crap. It's going in the dustbin after this. Like, I just want to throw it, but then there's something that I could break because it's pissing me off. Like, what's, it, what's this supposed to do for me? I don't even know what made me pick it up. Yeah, before I continue babbling on. Thank you guys so so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'm anticipating the subscriptions already. But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, I hope you know if you're looking for a cheap conditioner, this helps you out. And please, please, please don't forget to like this video. So give us a huge thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comment section if you're going to try it. If you have already tried it, what did you think? Did it make your curls pop or not? Any other questions you have, ask me in the comment section. I always, always reply people. Um, yeah, please also don't forget to subscribe. And you know, check out my other videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>